Okay, in last week's program, we pulled off the intake manifold on the LLT 3.6 V6. So we got that pulled off, and, uh, and today we're going to run a scope through it. This is a, uh, a video scope. You can get these on eBay for about $59 used, of course. These are two $250 new. But uh, you can get them for about $60. Make sure you get you a nice little case to go with it. There's some on there for $59 with no case. It's got your, your camera here on the end of it. And your turn it on. And it lights up. So this is a Milwaukee. This is only 9 volt. So no more than I'll be using it, it'll be fine. So this thing, you can bend it in any direction you want. I got that on eBay, so. Not sure if I really wanted to get one, but it will make this job a little bit easier. So this car right here has uh I'll go ahead and turn this off. This car right here has uh, 66,000 miles on it. And no catch can. So that's going to make a lot of difference. So we'll see in the... Uh, we'll see what the cars look like with 66,000 miles on it with no catch can. I mean, with the ventilation system on that car is, well, it's not the best, I would say. Got two little bitty holes in the, back there in the PVC valve, and they will plug up, and that means you're, you're not going to get no ventilation on your, you're not going to get no ventilation under the rocker covers. Okay, I had to stop and change batteries on the camera. So, what was I? The ventilation system in this, in this uh, 3.6 is not real good. Like I say, it had, uh, it's got two small holes in the PVC valve and the on the back of the rocker cover on the passenger side. So if you haven't done that mod, it'd probably be a good idea on your Camaros, either V6 or the uh, V8. Just check your uh, PVC valve and make sure that thing's drilled out where you get good ventilation. Well, you're not gonna get good ventilation because there's little bitty holes anyway. I mean, compared to the driver side, compared to the passenger side, there's you got a clean side of the engine, you got a dirty side of the engine. It's just the way the ventilation system is set up on this car. So, you can see on some of these valves right here that some of them are pretty, pretty bad. You got direct injection on your, on your engine. That sprays the cylinder. On ported injection, it sprays it up in here and it basically rinses your intake valves, keeps them clean on your ported, ported injection. Like all that fuel will go right down and keep all of them clean. Well, you got your suction that comes off the intake manifold and you're pulling from the PVC valve all that junk contaminants, all that carbon buildup circulating right back into the engine. And you're getting all this junk right here build up on your valves. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Take your scope. This engine got 66,000 miles on it. We're going to see how bad they are. So let's go here to the intake manifold. Now we're going to paint that thing before we put it back on. 
and I want you to put down in the comments what colors you want to paint it. Okay, on this intake manifold, we're going to take and we're going to put some primer on it. And we're going to paint it. We're first going to take off this uh, throttle body here. So we're going to paint up to here. Take that off, and I imagine we'll just leave that alone. Maybe clean it up a little bit. But we're going to take this all apart, this top plate. We're going to pull it off. I'll get a gasket set for it. And we're going to paint it. You got three choices. We're going to do silver. But I got left over from the Cadillac. That'll look good on here. Or you got red. Red from the Camaro. Or you got this plain old flat black. So put down in the comments what you would, what color you would like to like to see it get painted. I'm hoping everybody uh, picks red. I think that'd be cool. Okay, pull this microfiber towel off of there. I'll turn up the power a little bit. There you go. There's a good shot right there. See all that junk built up on it? Okay, that's the other one over here. You got two intakes and you got two exhausts on this, on the 3.6 V6. Yeah, they're not real bad, but yeah, that's got some junk on it too. Hope you can see that okay. It's uh, about twice the size of the valve. The valve stem, it's about twice the size of it. Go down here, this last one here. Probably I'll take his screen protector off here. Hope you can see that without no glare on it. This side's not too bad. I'm going to try putting a little extra light down there and see what that'll do. Got this pin light. See what that'll do. There we go.
Okay, that's pretty good. Well, the tops of them are sure nasty looking. Actually, be the bottom of the valve. Yep, that's that's what they look like at sixty six thousand miles. I mean, they're not real bad, but then again, uh, probably wouldn't hurt to get them clean. A lot of people using the walnut blaster. Blast them with walnut shell. And they vacuum them all out. That way, if something does get hung up in there, then it's not going to ruin your engine. It's not like sand or anything. She wouldn't want to sandblast them. Okay, the PVC valve on this car, the, this is the LLT engine. It's right back here. The easiest way to find is this piece right here that goes right down on top of the intake manifold. Follow it back, and it goes right into it. Right back here. You can see it right there. Just past your third spark plug. Right back there close to the firewall. Pop that out of there. See if I can get out of there real quick. See what it looks like. Okay, I got that thing popped off of there. Now we'll take this. Okay, we've got that thing out of there. Okay, that whole side of the engine is, that's your ventilation. Two little bitty holes. Wipe that off a little bit. Okay, them, them holes look like they've been drilled. Or, so I get the focus here. Okay, see them holes? They look like they've been drilled. So that's about all you want to drill them out, I guess. So I guess we'll stick that back in there. Before I lose it. That thing was in there tight. Okay, that one. Right there it goes on there. It just snaps over the top of it. Okay, that's in there. And this one goes to the top of the intake manifold. Just move that out of the way. So I guess that's going to do this video. Be sure to put your color choice down in the bottom. What color you want to paint this manifold. I think it'll look pretty cool red. Anyway, thanks for watching.